When we speak of the chemistry of love, it's not just idle expression. Different chemicals in the brain or neurotransmitters play different roles at each stage of the mating game. There are three different types of love. Lust, romantic love and long-term attachment, each associated with different neurotransmitters, all hardwired into brain. Lust, the emotion that chases us out of the house and drives us to find a partner, is related to busters of testosterone. It is male hormone, it is produced in the testicle. Just like your cholesterol or blood pressure, there is a numerical range of testosterone levels that are considered normal. The brain and the testicle work together to keep testosterone within the range. When levels of testosterone are below normal, the brain signals the testicle to make more. When testosterone levels reach a normal level, the brain signals the testicle to make less. Another kind of love is romantic love which is related to abnormalities in serotonin, dopamine and norepinephrine making it bi biochemically similar to obsessive-compulsive disorder, a psychiatric illness where thoughts of a single subject dominate the patient's life. When you are in love, it's in your blood and in your head, says research from the University of Pisa, Italy. Subject falling in love resembles patients with obsessive-compulsive disorder in terms of neurochemical changes involving platelets. Those blood cells involving to make it blood clot and warm heal. In romantic love, we feel elated and giddy. We can sleep or eat because of increased levels of dopamine and norepinephrine. The phase evolved so we could distinguish between potential partners. When we are in love, dopamine, nicknamed the pleasure chemical, gives us a high. Dopamine can be stimulated artificially by alcohol and drugs. Along with other brain chemicals, it also gives us those physical clues that we are falling in love, like heart racing, pupils delighting, and light sweat, turning on pheromone production. Genetic differences in body chemistry may create different pheromones, so that prospective mates may be subconsciously turned on or turned off by subtle chemical messages. Commercially produced pheromones are therefore unlikely to have universal appeal. The final phase of love, the one that leads to diamond wedding anniversaries, is a calm, secure feeling of attachment to a long-term partner. Oxytocin is the hormone thought to be responsible for the phase of love, as well as for the mother-child bonding. It is released by touch, done with the right triumph and pressure.